Brunette Wig Place, and today I am bringing you a review for Wig Studio One. So before I get started with the review, I just want to remind you that Wig Studio One has a really great private group on Facebook. The name of the group is called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. I encourage you to come over and join the group. It's a great place to get a lot of knowledge about wigs and support for your hair loss. So today I am wearing this cute, short, pixie style from Renee of Paris. The name of this wig is Gia and the color on her is Java Frost. So I will do a spin so we can look at her all the way around and then we can get into all of her specifications. So really cute. Now she is one, she has a lot of layers and you can get a lot of volume and I'll show you that later when I style her. Really cute. So here's my right side. The back. My left side and then back to the front. So as you can see, she, uh, like I said, you can get a lot of volume. She is just a basic cap wig, so she has no monofilament, no lace front, no lace part. There is a little bit of permatease up here on the top, but I'm feeling like it's pretty well disguised. I mean, if I stick my fingers in there, I can feel it, but it's not, um, there's not little hairs sticking up that make it look, you know, nesty or anything like that. So I'll show you that part. And then of course there's no lace front, but that's why on these basic wigs, they usually have some fringe hanging down so that it hides the fact that there is no lace front. So she's really cute in the front. Her ear tabs are really, really nice. Um, I mean, the whole ear tab is pretty much covered by this layer that comes down here, but I'll pull that out of the way and show you. Um, ear tabs are great. I have good coverage, you know, as far as, there's a little bit of bio hair peeking in, um, but I have pretty good coverage on that. She is an average cap, and then there's a good sized piece of metal in there, you know, to keep that um, ear tab in place. So once those are adjusted, they should stay in place quite well. Really, really cute. But I'm really pleased with the fact that, you know, the permatease is not too obvious up here on the top, because that's always something I look at in a basic cap wig. And I have seen a few where you could really see those little permatease fibers sticking up. And this one is, that is not the case. So very pleased. And that, of course, that permatease is necessary. It covers that cap um, and it also gives you, you know, lift and volume for these styles that have that ability, you know, to bring in more volume to the style. So really, really cute. So let me pop her off and we can look at the inside of her cap. Okay, so like I said, basic cap. So you have closed, there are wefts in here to give it breathability, but you have closed lace that's over that wefting. There's a nice um, soft velvety strip here, felt strip across the front. Her ear tabs are covered in lace, but they have that good sized piece of metal. She has open wefting all through her cap. She has these little um, hook adjusters that you pull, the little pull tab adjusters. And then she has a um, velvet or, you know, felt nape back here. So, so cool and comfortable, great little style for summer. I'll pop her back on and talk about what all her measurements are. So you can see when I put, when I pop her back on, she really can go to a lot of volume if that is, you know, what you're looking for. So, okay, so as far as her measurements, here in the front, she is six inches. And then from the crown up here, she has a 3.25 measurement. And then her nape back here in the back is two inches. And as far as the sides here, you know, there are a lot of little layers that are going through it. So the only measurements that they give are this uh, front, you know, the front is kind of the longest part. And then she gradually is just layered, you know, all throughout the style. So uh, just really, really a cute, cute cut. I like the way it kind of goes down on the face here. Um, very pretty, chic and stylish. So really, really cute. Okay, so this color is Java Frost, and Java Frost is a dark brown base with gold blonde and light auburn, evenly blended highlights. So it is literally, it is just a frosted dark brown. So you can see a visible highlight there with a blonde and a light auburn. Looks more blonde to my eye 
but sometimes when you have that blonde that blends you know with the um with these dark brunettes you get that auburny cast to it too so there are actually two different you know blended highlights in here so really really cute okay so let's take gia outside and we will look at java frost out in the natural light okay so here's this java frost out here in the natural light So you can see those, you know, highlights. But I think what I'm seeing in the camera, it really looks more of a blonde, but there is a little auburn mixed in there too. And I'll show you that top out here in the natural light. So you can see it's not, you know, it just looks natural. It just looks like a, you know, a haircut with a lot, with texture and volume, so. Back inside so you could really see how pretty that java frost is out there in the natural light i think the highlights are very pretty especially for summer uh, this is just a really really beautiful brunette uh, you know that just looks like you had some highlights put in to lighten the hair up for summer so really really pretty color so as far as styling her now of course you're not going to have your updo ponytail any of that sort of thing with her but you can do some things with her first of all i want to show you uh glasses with her because glasses are super easy i'm not having any you know any trouble getting the glasses on off no problem um now of course you wouldn't put the hair you know push the hair back with the glasses i would just stick the glasses in the hair so and these bangs are you know on me a bit long um, you know, this is a six inch layer here in the front. So you can push sweep them to the sides or you might, if you know what you're doing or you have a good, a good stylist, you know, you might want to trim those up a little bit because it is sort of face flopping. You could also put some product in this one and really uh, work through the layers and work up the texture. So I will show you the volume. I mean, you know, and if you really like a lot of volume, you can get her wet and hang her upside down and you would probably get even more. But you can see, you can get a lot of volume out of this style. And the volume tends to wanna to be up here on the top as opposed to on the sides. The sides seem to stay pretty close, you know, uh, to the face. And then the volume is gonna be all up here on the top and back here in the back whenever you fluff her up. So she can certainly be fluffed up if that is the way that you prefer to wear the style. So, um, you know, you can do little things with her like stick headbands in her. That would look really, really cute. Um, you can take, I would leave, you know, you need to leave some fringe because you don't have a lace front, but then behind that fringe, you could put in some little clips. You could put in a couple of them and that would look cute you know, just pull back a few layers and just dress her up a little bit. That looks really cute like that. And then of course, again, leaving that fringe down, you could put any kind of a little, you know, cute clip. You just stick that in there and it just kind of, you know, gives you a little, little something fun, little bling in the style or whatever. So, but you know, I wouldn't, you, you're, she's not gonna be an off the face style so much because you do not have that lace front. So, um, but that's okay. Not all styles are off the face. She is, you can, you know, tuck her pretty easily. So you can change the style that way as well and just get those layers off the face a little bit. You know, just however you like to wear her. Sometimes with these short styles, I do like to tuck, you know, tuck it behind my ears a little bit and just get that hair. Um, off of you know being right on my face but this one i think is pretty i like how that uh, layer wants to come down and kind of point on the cheek and it just looks very chic and very sophisticated really really cute style so if you love a cute pixie i think that you would love gia thank you so much for watching today and thank you to wig studio one for sending me this wig to review information for purchase will be below um, and until next time don't forget you're absolutely beautiful bye